Hi everybody, it's Linda. So yesterday I zipped out and did a little bit of shopping. I hit $1 Tree and $1 Rama. I didn't buy much, but let me show you what I got. Dollarama. I bought the purple one of these butterflies a couple weeks ago. I just picked up this cream one. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these charms, but I just have one hanging here off my organizer. St. Patrick's Day scarf for crafting, but not sure yet. Maybe for a book tie if I do a seasonal junk journal or something. So I just thought it was cute, and maybe I'll probably wear it um, Thursday. I might go to a Zoom party. Ooh. Okay. Um, oh, it's a work thing. Okay, so I saw Tina K. Oh, sorry, Tina Up haul this and I thought it was so cute so when I saw it I too had to buy it to add to my one day I'll do something with it wood collection so oh, there's a little chip there oh well anyway um yeah it's so adorable so, so I got that and then I bought I bought these are the adhesive lace tape so I only saw two designs, one of these and the rest were all these. And there was white, but I did not buy white. So I, these are for me. Oh, oh, can you hear that? My cat's throwing up. I'm almost, I, I'll be done soon anyway. So I bought this for me and this other pattern for myself. And then I'm gonna give Maggie these because she was trying to find these and and she didn't at the store she the store or two she was at. So that was all I picked up at Dollarama. Um, I just don't have like a lot of stuff I have to get. So I'm very happy that I'm not urgently looking for things and always going outside. Okay, now Dollar Tree. So I found a few things here. So I picked this up. I have I bought the wooden one. They're, they're really thin. The wood ones are really thin and they're a lot bigger. But these ones, I thought, look how small they are. I just have to um, get a drill. And if I drill a hole, it would these would be great little charms to add, right? Like, look, look at the size of them. So anyway, I got that to add to the game collection or charms even. Um, I like buying fun lip balm, even though I hardly ever use lip balm. This is orange flavored, a gelato. I just, I like the looks of them. I had a little, I have a little collection at my desk in the office, but you know, I haven't been there since June. So I'm sure they're still there. They should be still okay, because they were tied up. Um, I mean, closed up. Pen, I like my fun pens. Oh, hello, Ella. I like my fun pens. And I do love popcorn, so I thought I'd get this. I don't even know if it works. It was in a place where she, it, it was in its natural territory. Ella, she wants me to open the cupboards, and then when I do, she doesn't do anything. Cats. Okay, I finally found a silicone brush. Now, it is a bit on the smaller side, but really, who cares? This is for smoothing out, um, like, glues and Mod Podge or anything like that, right? So, where is the opening? All right, yes, Ella. Yeah, let's just, and like somebody said, it's easier to clean these than, um, cause it's not a big deal, I think, if like if it hardens, if, it, if you don't clean it right away. Anyway, so I'm pleased with that. I finally found one. They did have other colors and possibly they were bigger sizes, but I didn't really notice the size. I was just looking at the, the brush part. Okay, I also found this for my planner. Um, Cause I'm trying to find some fun little stickers. I mean, I know I have stickers. I do have to go through them, but in my for the my my planner that I made, I like to put little fun things that don't necessarily say things. Okay, I don't need to remember. I don't need to know what's important. Like, I, but these little arrows and these shapes and dots. Anyway, so I picked up one of those. And I saw Tina K haul these, so I grabbed two. The cotton drawstring bag. Um, 
eight and a half by eleven and a half. So that's an interesting size. It's like half decent. Um, they were, they had. Tina K was mentioning that at her store, which is also my store, they had, and I saw them, the vinyl sheets. They weren't rolled up in a little packaging box like my friend Maggie saw in another Dollar Tree. But they were individual sheets and there was only four left. I don't have a Cricut or anything like that and have no desire to get a machine like that. So I don't need to buy these, but I did look and they had four left. They had two green, uh, I don't know if it was red or orange. I couldn't tell on the lighting. And then maybe black? I don't remember the last one. But anyway, that's all they had left. And these were like in the next bin. So, and they also had aprons. But the aprons weren't, I don't think none of the aprons were like this. I think they were already colored. So I guess the whole point is you're supposed to buy the vinyl and this, and then you can decorate this. I think that was the whole point of putting all that stuff together. Okay. So I also picked up two more of these because I finally found them and I wanted to just, um, cause I was, I did for a while make note, make some folios to hold these things. And also, like I said, my husband tends to go through these, um, a lot. And my final thing I bought was one more just to add to the stash. Uh, yeah, they brought them back. Um, but still no, still no cutting dies. And, um, I, th I think there was, oh, there's, I think I mentioned before, there's a pen. I think it's only in America though, in the American Dollar Trees. It's called the outline pen so that when you write, if you write like the letter M, there's an outline around the M. It, it somehow does it. It's like magic. Anyway, Maggie said that she, Hey, I've been looking for that too. So, which I found funny. So anyway, I still kind of look through, even at Dollarama, I'll kind of look for a pen that says outline on it. And I still have not found it. So it might just be something that we'll be looking for one day. One day when we go back to the States and go shopping. Okay, so that's it. I got to go back downstairs and get to work because it's a work day for me still, unfortunately. No, I don't mind working. I And I love being here. So, I mean, I am not complaining. I I'm working from home. I'm not... Up before, as Maggie used to say when she before she retired, I'm not up before I go to bed. So, anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later, and um, I hope everyone has a great day. It's nice and sunny here today. Bye.